So I'm standing here with a Coney County, Georgia Fire Rescue SP70. Uh, as we work our way back, you see this is a 62 inch cab with a 10 inch raised roof. Uh, they have the PS tank on the side for your tank level gauge. Uh, working our way around to the side here, we have an air uh, tank drain central location there. Uh, if you open up this first compartment here, you see they have an extra Voyager monitor here. They also have one in the cab as well. All your controls on this SP70 are right here. You pull out your step, and then you climb up on here, and you can operate your arrow all right here. And you can see the whole operation as you're moving down. So here we have a hail 1500 GPM pump with three crosslays. Working our way around to the back of the unit here. They decided to do something a little different here and they, they kind of switched these compartments. So this is a non-transverse body. The SP70 bucket hangs low so you can access it from the rear here with the fold down step. What they have here is arms for their Stokes basket. So these are removable pinned arms that can be stowed on the side over here um, and out of the way when not in use. So up on the monitors here, we got two monsoon monitors, one on each side, one with stack tips and one with a fog tip. They also went with a gate here so they could shut it down and then they could also access their standpipe up there. So working our way around the side here, we got a good complement of ladders. We got a three section 35 foot, we got a two section 24 foot, and we have a 16 foot roof ladder. Working our way around the side here, you got your generator located here. They opted for a little giant mounted on top. They have auxiliary steps on the cab to help them get in and out when the jacks are deployed. And then around to the front here, you see they got the cornering lights here on their 12 inch bumper. Now they did something a little different here. They put the Q in the bumper. They got their rubber bumpers for protection and they decided to put the roto ray in the grill instead of on top. A little bit of a different look on this SP70 L9 450 horsepower engine.